What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to download your music locally to a computer from Amazon Music. Now this video is helpful if you purchase music from this service, but prefer to use a different audio player app or transfer your music between devices. And if you're watching this video, there is a chance you've downloaded your music in the Amazon Music app just to find that music doesn't appear in your device files. Now, of course, your music is downloaded for offline play, but it can only be accessed in the Amazon Music app. In my opinion, this is Amazon's deceptive way of keeping you tied into their ecosystem. However, the good news is there is a solution to download your music so you can use it between different devices and different audio player apps. As for this video, it's featured on the Tech Tutorials playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. For reference, I'm using a Google Pixel Book Go, which is a Chromebook and the Chrome browser. Now, interesting note, I did attempt to perform all the steps you're going to see in this video on an Android device with the Chrome browser. Although the steps did look identical, a download option was not provided on the final page on the Android device, which is why we had to do this on a computer. Now, our first step is to go to Amazon.com and sign into your account. Now, once signed in, we're going to hover over accounts and list until we get this drop down menu. And we're going to look for music library and we're not going to click on it just yet. Now, the reason we don't want to click on this option immediately is if you're running a device like I am that has the Amazon Music app, simply clicking on Music Library is going to open up the app, which is something we don't want to do. Now, if you are working on a device that has the Amazon Music app installed, we can work around this by either right clicking on Music Library or if you're on a Chromebook, pressing and holding Alt and then clicking on the trackpad. And this brings up a pop up menu as well. And then we're going to go to open link and new tab. Now this opens the web version of the Amazon Music app in a new tab where we can download our music locally. Now, before you get to this page, there may be another page that asks if you want to sign up for Amazon Music Unlimited. And if that page does appear, simply tap on the X or click on it and that will exit the page and bring you to the page you see here. Next, you can see we have this navigation bar at the top of the web version of Amazon Music, and we're going to look for the headphone icon with library next to it and click on that. And that's going to make a drop down menu appear and we're going to click on music. Now, this refreshes the page and we're going to look for purchased under library and we're going to click on that. And this is going to refresh the page once more. This will be where all our purchased music is located and where we can actually download it. So we would simply look for a song we wish to download and go to the far right here. We're going to have those three dots and we're going to click on that. And then we can go down to the download option and click on that as well. Now, from my experience, I've always gotten this pop up here, which is going to push us to download the Amazon Music app for the best experience. Now, for this pop up, we don't want to tap or click on the X. Instead, we want to go to download songs here and click on that. Next, we're going to get this pop up window, which allows us to rename our music file and save it to a location on our device. And once we are happy with both of those choices, we can go over to save and click on it. And this is going to save the music file to our device. Now, the only problem I've noticed with this solution is it looks like you can only download one song at a time, which means that this process will take a long time. Now, if you are having any issues downloading your music from the Amazon Music app, you'll want to go into your settings and check on your managed devices. And if you have too many managed devices, you may have to deauthorize some of them so that you can download your music on a device. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or I would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can show your support is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. 
As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.